Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at a mobile phone case from Tuvren. Keep watching to find out if it's any good. Okay, so quick backstory Tuvren are a manufacturer or distributor of mobile phone cases. They do some fantastic real leather cases, and they also do a selection of other cases should you want something a little bit different. This particular model is to fit Kath's iPhone 7. There are many versions available, depending on which phone you got. I'll stick a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself, and they've got cases to fit pretty much every iPhone you could possibly imagine. Anyway, let's take a look at this thing and see what we get. Now, this retails about £14 in the UK, which you're probably thinking, well, why are you telling me the price? Because I haven't seen it yet. Well. The reason being is because this is actually a three or four part device. So you get a few different things included in the box. You get the case itself, which is that, which we'll go into more detail in a second. But you also get a lanyard. You're probably thinking, why would I want a lanyard for a phone? Well, there's a very good reason because this case isn't just a normal case. Yes, it's a TPU bumper around the outside edges, and yes, it's got a, a very hard plastic back to protect your phone, but also it's got a strap on the back, which is adjustable. So you can use that as a hand strap for carrying your device or for showing people stuff when you throw your phone in front of someone's face and say, look, 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 look at that picture. So that is really cool. Also, if you pop that into place with the metal popper, you can use it with your phone in it to use it as a display case. So if you've got it on your nightstand and you're watching a video or listening to your favorite YouTube videos, then you can put it by the side of your bed and not have to worry about it. But that's not all you can do with it. Also what you can do, if you open it up fully, this back is actually elasticated. So you can use it as storage. Now you can use it for money. So let's put a couple of uh, 10 pound notes in there, secure it and there we go. So now we've got our phone case, we've got a stand and we've also got a wallet so everything in one device how cool is that so we've got i haven't got a credit card to hand so i'm going to use my screw fix 10 percent off card so let's stick that in there as well because that's roughly the same size as a credit card and we tuck that in and there we go so we've got our credit card we've got some cash we've got our phone in a protective case and also at the bottom we've got this little hook so we can put that with our neck strap, which actually is really, really hard to do the clasp, which is a good thing because if you can't do the clasp very easily, that means it isn't gonna come undone very easily. So at last, we've got it connected. That is actually really, really strong, that clasp, but at least you know that once it's on there, it's gonna have a heck of a job to try and get it back off. So let's stick the phone in and see what it actually looks like inside the case. Now, most of these cases, you get them and if I'm honest, they tend to be a little bit loose and a little bit kind of saggy around the edges. Not really a great experience, but let's see how good this one is. Now actually that is snapped into position really nicely and it actually feels very reminiscent of the original uh, leather case that came with the iPhones back in the day from Apple themselves. It actually fits very snugly, the buttons the buttons have got a really nice clicky feel to them still, which is excellent. The uh, the wake or shutdown button on the side works perfectly. And the, um, the toggle on the side for the mute has actually got just the right amount of um, gap there so you can actually get your finger in to move it, which you find on some of these cases actually is slightly lacking or it's a little bit fiddly to get to. Whereas with this, really super simple and easy to use. And the phone itself, it does look really nice in there. It feels very nice in the hand. It's got a really nice weight to it. And the actual, the strap doesn't seem to be a, like a real obstruction. It's almost like you just got your phone in your hand with the charger connected, which out of interest, you can actually still get to the charging dock area at the bottom. And the speakers are fully open. So there's not gonna be any muffled sound coming out of it. All in all, I think this is actually a really nice case. So again, with the neck strap on, if you're out and about doing stuff, you can put a neck strap on and if you get sort of, sort of knocks your arm, maybe you're at a, a rave or a disco or whatever it is you kids do these days, you can have this. And if it gets knocked out of your hand, it's not gonna go flying on the floor, it's just gonna swing around. So pretty good in my opinion. And obviously if you don't wanna use the neck strap, you don't have to, you can just 
disconnect it, leave it in the drawer for maybe when you do go out. So anyway, this has been actually a pretty darn decent case from the company called Tuvren. Again, I'll put some links in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves. But yeah, actually, I'm pretty impressed. Time will tell to see how well the, uh, the leatherette look goes. It isn't actually a real leather. They do real leather ones on their site. This is actually a kind of like a PU leather. So it's kind of a semi leather. It's made from the remnants of leather when it's actually made covered with uh, polyurethane. So it's actually really strong, really long will last in. And if you've ever had a kind of a fake leather jacket or anything like that, then you'll know how well those last and generally it's pretty good. A little bit better quality than you get on the company's DFS sofas and stuff like that, which tend to crack and stuff. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.